Well, we're into 2014 now, and we are about to get stuck into our first project for jewelswoodshop.com. Now, it's gonna be a fairly simple design. It's a dining room table with two long bench seats. But with a simple design, you have to pay really high attention to the detail. So this build, while it's gonna be quite simple, it's gonna be a little bit tiring because you need to make sure everything is absolutely perfect on a simple design like this. After all, there's very little to distract you from any mess ups that you might make. Now, this is a commissioned table, so I do need to get it done relatively quickly, but luckily, the client is actually a family member and they're happy for me to film it and take a little bit longer to get it to their sort of house. Now, with that said, it doesn't mean I can take six months to make this table because if I don't make it, I don't get paid and then I can't pay rent. So we're gonna be trying to condense this build into about five different parts. Now, the first part is this here. It's the introduction where I show you the SketchUp design, go over a few of the sort of different elements of the model and things like that. Um, and just make sure that we have a good idea of what's about to be happening on the show. The second video is gonna be focusing on the top. Now the top is 2.3 meters long or thereabouts and one meter wide. So it's a fairly big panel that we have to glue up and we also need to keep it flat. So uh, quite a few things to consider with that glue up and also flattening it is gonna be interesting. The third part is gonna be the base. Now the base is a very simple sort of construction. There's no tapered legs or anything like that. It's just square legs with rails and stretches. But once again, because it's so simple, it needs to be perfect. So we'll go into all the detail we need in the base. We'll look at reinforcing the, the base because there's quite a lot of stress that goes into legs on a table. Um, and we'll also look at the, the specialized hardware that's available if you're making lots of dining room tables. Now on the fourth video, we'll be focusing on getting the bench seats done. So the bench seats are nothing more than a smaller version of the table. So the detail we go into won't be that high because well, everything's gonna be covered. And then the fifth and final video is my finishing process. So I haven't shown you guys this before. It's gonna be a, a, a first for George Woodshop and hopefully it gives you guys a few ideas on how you can go about finishing your really nice uh, you know, wooden furniture. Okay, so this is the first sort of SketchUp drawing that I've made. Now it's just a simple one, there's no joinery, no details put into it, but it's enough to send to the client and say, is this what you're thinking of? Now the tabletop here is about 30 millimeters thick or an inch and a quarter, and it's one meter wide by about 2.2 meters. The legs of the table, now that's 90 by 90 millimeter stock, so that's fairly chunky. So we'll probably have to laminate two boards together to achieve that thickness. And the rails, that's 100 millimeters uh, wide by 30 millimeters thick. And of course, they span across. Now on the underside, I've just roughed in a few reinforcements. Now this isn't the end dimension of the reinforcements, but it gives me an idea of what I'm gonna require for construction. Uh, and then when we move on to the bench seats, you can see it's pretty much the same design except it's scaled down and obviously a lot narrower. So the top we have kept at 30 millimeters thick. We want the table and the bench to match in that respect. But the legs, if you look at the legs, these have been scaled down to be 75 by 75 millimeter stock and that goes for the rails as well. Now you can see on the benches, I've added a taper to the legs and now I think the client is gonna come back and say, I don't want the taper, but I think it's a good way to sort of show two different examples of uh, opening up the stance of the table. So we'll see what the client says about that, but we're onto a good grounding of what we need to do and what amount of material we need. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea as to what's to come to your screens over the next four to five weeks. And hopefully you're looking forward to it as well. Now, if you aren't aware, George Woodshop is a weekly woodworking podcast, except in January when I decide to go away on last minute holidays. And if you're interested in seeing that video, click here. But it is a weekly woodworking podcast. So if you wanna uh, stay up to date, make sure you click that subscribe button down there. And uh, also head over to my Facebook page and give me a like. So facebook.com slash George Woodshop and uh, like my Facebook page as well. Anyway, I better get on to getting this 3D model finished and uh, ready for you guys to download. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.